Hey, how you doing? Just got back from the gun show. Yeah, that's right. Uh, listen, real quick. Um, it is. I've been getting some great feedback from people. Um, someone suggested I do a, a a river rock table, which was pretty cool. Uh, I think I might try to do a small version of that where it looks like a river with rocks is running through the center of the table. Really awesome. Um, and also a uh, something in stained glass or something with broken glass. I've got a lot of broken glass. So I'm going to try to see if I can think of something to do with those. Um, basically I wanted to say the first there I go again basically the first about four minutes of this video is going to be video that should have been included in like a video or two ago so um but I thought it was interesting and that honestly there's a lot of humor there so I put that in uh just to show you what I uh, how I uh did some stuff there um and I just wanted to I need suggestions I need um, I need your input so please comment on these things and and let me know if they're they're good they're bad what you like what you don't like um, don't be rude no read need no uh, uh, there he goes again he's drunk again there's no no reason to be rude um, you know we all got to get along on this tiny little planet of ours so uh, enjoy this video welcome back to these nuts how y'all doing here I am again alright we're putting in these cleats now these cleats are gonna hold the three pieces of the table together level and even Evenly, Stephen Lee. Just like that. So I'm going to do about 400 more screws over here. And then the, the table is going to weigh like uh, 600 pounds with the, uh, all the hardware. And then I'm going today. I'm going to uh, cut the two by four, and I think I've changed my mind. I believe what I'm going to do. You'll understand this why when we actually finish the project and you see the base again. But I think what I'm going to do is put a two by two across this way also, and have the long one running, and I'll notch the center out so they match. Golf clap. Um, that way it'll, it'll, uh, I'm thinking it will set on four metal bars, which the table frame is a, a metal frame, so it'll set up, uh, on those better. And, um, we'll see how that goes. And this, this is the table. I'll have the puzzle in the center. I'll be doing the tiles. But like I said, first thing I gotta do is cut those, um, cut the two by fours and the cross member. That'll give it a lot of strength. And then, I'm making this stuff up as I go along. I have no idea how to do this stuff. This is all like new to me. Oh, yo, Vinny Barbarino. <laughs> Mr. Cate. Got a tile. I'm going to tile first. Then I'll glue the puzzle down the center. And you'll be seeing that. You'll be seeing it all live as it happens on These Nuts. Project These Nuts. These Nuts. Yet another project. This is also a puzzle. 
and uh, it's from the original movie of Midway, like in the 80s, and I glued that to the wood too, and today I'm going to uh, trim the edges up, make it nice and clean, and then I'm going to do the same thing that I did on my cleats for this table, put the veneer around the sides, and then I'm going to coat that bad boy up. We haul. We got so many projects we don't know what to do with them. People say Daryl. Actually, they don't say Daryl. They say Mr. D's nuts. How do you do all this stuff? You just like you're such a multitasker. There I go slipping into Bill Clinton again. I I did not like that woman at all. So. You just got to believe in yourself. So, uh, we'll carry on throughout the week. Put some stuff together. I have another one for you. Later. Alright. I've decided I'm going to veneer these ends. Just for the sake of having to sand. I don't like sanding. So I'm going to put this veneer piece on here. This is a thicker piece, basically, just like the other stuff I showed you. All you're going to do is put that on there. You're going to take your iron. Hold it on there for a couple seconds. Un voila. Just like that. And we'll come back and trim those up. Okay, it's cooled off. So, just take your nice sharp razor blade. Zip it down. Cut that off, cut that off, cut that off. Cut it out. Okay, you do that. You can take your 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 uh, uh, 180 grit sandpaper. Round that edge off. Get the glue off. Hard. Yeah, oh Oh, 
There you go. Look how nice that looks. Looks like a pe solid piece of red oak. Hot dang the molly, baby. Hot dang. All right, we'll be back. Okay, so what I've done, I've taped up the corner so I know where my the feet are going to be screwed in. But again, because of the not getting the veneer plywood, this is real crappy plywood, so I wanted to kind of even out some of the imperfections. So I've coated it with some plaster. And then I'm filling these holes with these little buttons. Bam, it's in there. So when I paint, I don't have to worry about gluing those because when I paint, I'm sure the paint will stick to them and make them glued. I hate sanding. When this is all dried, then I'm going to have to sand it all. Sand it all to heck. All right. We'll be back with more. Holy frijoles. Okay, I just got done sanding this. Bear. Uh, let's take a look at this. Well, basically, the reason why I did that, basically, um, was to be able to make the bottom nice and smooth. And, you know, I know I'm a perfectionist and nobody's going to really look under the table unless they're putting their gum underneath it. But, uh, you know... I uh, had a hand sand it. I have, I have three, three electric sanders, and one of them crapped out on me. It died. Totally died. The other one, uh, I need new Velcro, and <laughs> I tried to use it on here, and it literally just disintegrated into oblivion like it just flew into pieces so I gotta get a new one of those and uh, so now I'm gonna I'm gonna paint this um, I think I'm gonna do the two by fours in in the teal color and the base in gray to match the bottom of the table and I also banded this uh, the midway poster that you saw I re-glued it banded it and then I did the same thing to the back of this just so it would lay smooth and look nice so I think I'm just gonna do the back of this gray also while I got the paint out for this and then um, instead of doing <coughs> the There he goes again, Martha. He lost his train of thought. Instead of using the uh, epoxy on this one, I think I'm going to try just putting uh, a coat of the varnish on here. The lacquer. polyurethane uh, to make it shiny so we're gonna do that now and um, unlike the other videos who show like in fast motion I won't bore you with that I'm just gonna cut the scene when I come back it'll be painted ta-da there it is. So now I'm going to drill some holes for the legs. And then I got to flip it over. Put the frame back on the edge 
so I can grout the tiles. And I also think I'm going to install the, the tiles around the circle in the center. So you'll be seeing that. And then this is the midway poster. And that came out real nice. It's like a piece of veneer plywood. Cut a little angle on the edge there. You know, give it a little caricature. <laughs> Caricature. All right, we'll be back. Holy shamoly. That didn't go according to plan. Remember I had these all taped up? It didn't work. Um, as I pulled the tape off, the tiles came off. So I had, it took me forever to get the tape off. Then I had to reset it, make sure I was where I was going to go. And then um, all I did was I put a butt ton of uh, the Gorilla Glue down. And then I used this trowel thing to make my lines. And it was, it's done. <laughs> it's done. But it's not exactly the way I wanted it to go on. It should have been a lot easier than that. So, take a gander. Puzzle's going to go in the center. And pause. One tricky thing. I need to figure out a way to see this pencil line here that's the edge of the puzzle I'm gonna need to figure out some way to build like a dam so when I grout this Maybe I could just build it up over the edge and then take the Dremel and just kind of sand it down. More than likely that's probably what I'm going to do. <laughs> and we're moving along on this project. So now uh, next thing is framing it, grouting it. And what else? I don't know! Uncle D's nuts is sweating today. Alright, we'll, we'll be back. It's uh, come to my uh, attention from some comments that I've gotten that my bulbous head is when it reflects off the my lighting it kinda looks like a solar flare so I'll try to remember to wear a hat or something to keep the glare out of the camera um, you know and like Mike Rowe says you know without your suggestions we got nothing so in the infamous words of uh, JFK ask not what D what no wait let me think ask not what you can do for these nuts ask what these nuts can do for you for you for you um so uh, I'd appreciate it if you shared me like it comment please um all good comments are welcome and subscribe and we'll see if we can make a go at this and like I said uh, keep the suggestions coming I, I love building things out of nothing and trying to make something really cool out of garbage so keep it up love you guys God bless have a great day